All right, we're getting into the use case of the buyer intent feature from Funnel Amplified. So we're talking in this video about how do you add articles that you want to share with a specific buyer. Now, after you already added a buyer, you can scroll down and you're going to see all your buyers. And you can either find them here and click by name, or in this case, I did a search and there is my test buyer. You're going to click on their name and it is going to take you to a dashboard that's designed specifically for this person. They're brand new. The buyer intent score is set at 500. What that means is everybody starts at 500 and as they engage with your content, it goes up. As they ignore your content, they don't pay attention to it. It starts to go down. Now, when it comes to selecting articles, you have a couple of options. If you go to article grouping, and I have not yet put together any articles for this buyer. You can actually click here and find articles that you've already grouped together for previous buyers. If you select one of these, it's going to automatically pull in the two articles that I shared with this individual, and it's going to put them together for this new buyer. However, if you want to select articles individually, you want to be more specific, the first one with the article grouping, it's really designed to save you time. So you don't have to do this every time. But if you want to go find specific articles for an individual, you can do that. So you click on select article. You can do a search by topic or title if you like. Not you find an article, you select it just by simply clicking on it. And now that article is assigned to this specific buyer. If you want to add multiple articles, you're more than welcome to do that. You click select article, you go back to your library and you find another article that you'd want to share. I'll add this one. What is a personal, what is your personal brand? And now you have two articles that are grouped together on this personal content hub for this specific buyer. Now, remember, I called this test buyer. That's why it says it there. But it would be the name of your customer, your buyer that you're sharing with. If you ever choose to move the articles around, like, hey, I want this one to be on the main homepage, you can use the arrows and it is going to move your articles around. If you want to get rid of an article, hey, I shared this three weeks ago, they've been engaging, but I want to share new articles now. Very simple. Click the delete, the, the trash can and it will delete the article from that person's personal content hub. Now, let me go back and add another article because here's a cool feature for you. You can share whichever articles you want as the main article. So let me uh, add this article on social media strategies for the C-suite. Couple ways that you can share the article with your customers. If I click here to share this link, it is going to share the personal content hub for the specific buyer, but it's going to lead with this article. If you click on this link, it'll lead with that article. If you go over here to the main menu for the specific buyer, and just remember again, I called this test buyer. This would say Brandon Lee. It's a Bob Smith, whoever it is. And if you added a logo, the logo would be here. If you added links to LinkedIn and everything else, those would be right here. And you just click and go visit their pages. But from here, if you go to share the article with them, you just click this link. It is going to take them to the home page, which is article number one. That's it. That's a simple way of sharing the article. If you go into the next video, I'm going to show you how to customize your message and customize the video for that buyer as well. Thanks so much.